Hey everyone, on this video we're going to be reviewing finding volume specifically with counting cubes. Um, and then you're going to have another video after this that is specifically with just length times with Tom's height, finding just the volume of one rectangular prism. And the last video in this lesson will be on finding the volume of composite figures where you had to find the volume of two or more rectangular prisms and then add those up. So you'll get to those in just a minute. For now, we're gonna do the practice with the cubes. So for this question, all it's asking us is that it's given us a prism right here, a given prism, and they're asking you which prism has the same number of cubes. So obviously we need to know the number of cubes in the original prism. Um, there's a different way to do this. You know, you can find a length, width, and height always. You could also count um, the face of what you can see and then see how many rows it goes back. So that's what I'm going to do right now. We're going to, let me make this just a tiny bit bigger. We're going to count and say, okay, well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we also know that it goes back three levels, right? So we can say eight times three. And that's going to give us a total of 24. So if this one has 24, we've got to find one that also has 24. So we can do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It goes back 2. So times 2. So this one's going to be 32. So we know it's out. Okay. Then the next one, we count this face. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And notice that it goes back two rows. So we have 12 times 2. And we see that that is obviously the same. So this is your answer. If you looked at this one, it only has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and only one row. So this one's only 16. This one's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it goes back 2. So this one's also 16. So we, when we were looking, we wanted the one that matched and had the same number of cubes. So that's why we chose B. All right, this next question is asking you, it says, Dane and Scarlet are stacking cubes. They stack their cubes in different ways. If Dane and Scarlet put their stacks together, what's the total volume? So we're going to underline total volume here. Um, so that just means we need to count each one, figure out how much each one has, and then add those volumes together. So on here, one thing we need to figure out on this one, though, we got to know there's some, maybe you can't see, but there's they're not just floating in air. We talked about that. They can't just be, uh, you know, up in the air without something underneath them. So we know if there's one cube here and one cube here, there's got to be one underneath them. So that would be one, two, and then three, and then four underneath. So four right there. Five, six, seven, eight. So this figure, this um, right here, has a volume of eight cubes. Um, this one, you can pretty much see everything, so we just have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. All right, and then remember, it said total volume. So all we have to do for this one is add it up. So eight plus 18. And that's going to give us a total of 26 cubic units. So our answer would be B on that one. All right, on this question, um, this is the one you have to choose several different answers. So for each one of these rectangular prisms, we've got to decide what the volume is for it and mark that correct answer. We know that if it just has, if we're looking at this shape right here, it only, it's one cubic unit. So that one's kind of the easy one. We just mark it. All right, on the second one, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Notice that it goes back 2, so that's 6 times 2. Let me make this a little bit smaller again. All right, 6 times 2, that's going to give you 12. So we're going to check that box for that one. On the next one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And it goes back 3, so we have 9 times 3, which is going to give you 27. So we're going to check this box for that one. And the last one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and it goes back to, so 6 times 2, excuse me, is going to give you 12 again. So we're going to check this box for that one. So on each of this type of problem, you just find the volumes and make sure you check the correct box. Okay, they love to ask this question. Um, what is the volume 
of one unit cubed. Guys, we talked about this a bunch. The volume, that means it would have a length, width, and height of one. So if we say one times one times one, it's just going to give us one. The main thing to know is that if it specifically says volume, it's good to be a cubic unit. If it just says the side of a unit cube, then it would just be one unit. All right, this is another easy one. It gives you a big word problem, but what it's asking, if they pack a box with unit cubes that have the side lengths of one centimeter, there's no gaps or overlaps, um, and it has a volume of 48 cubic centimeters. So how many unit cubes can it fit? 48 unit cubes, that's it. All right, now this one is an irregular shape, obviously. It's not a um, rectangular prism like the other ones. So this one we've got to kind of think a little bit about. If I were you, I'd find each layer. Um, you could also, like we find the face of it and think about how many times it goes back. So let's look and try that. So if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven on the face. Eleven that we can see on the front. And then we can tell it goes back four. Let me get a different color real quick. It goes back one, two, three, four. Then we can simply just multiply by four and guess what that gives us? 44. So there's our answer. All right, this question kind of gave a lot of people fits when we've done it before or one, it may not have been this exact one, but it was something very similar. What they're trying to show you is they're trying to give you a length, a width, and a height and they're trying to figure out how many more toy blocks do they need to fill it completely all right so you've got to think about find the volume and then you've got to think about well what do i already have and how much more will i need so if i look at this um the base of it i can say okay we'll I have one two three four and uh, going across that could be like my length my width could be one two three four five going across there and then I've got to think about my height now where we messed up a lot of us on this one was the fact that you counted here one two three four five six but remember there's one underneath here we can't be leaving that one out we um, have to use that one that's on that it's not floating in air so we have to use that one to include that one so if we already have one two three four five six then we know the height is now seven Okay, so the first thing we need to do is figure out what is my total um, volume for this figure to fill it the whole entire thing up. But remember, that's not what they're asking, but we have to know that. So 4 times 5 is going to give us 20. 20 times 7 is 140. Okay, but again, that's not my answer because remember, they're saying how many more do I have? And I already have some of them, so we can't use that answer. What we're going to have to figure out is how many do I already have? All right, so we know on the base of it, I said I had a four by five. So I know I have 20, and then I can count right here and say one, two, three, four, five, six. So this time I'm not including the one underneath it only because it's in this 20 right here. So I know what I can see right here is six more. So that means I already have 26 blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say to figure out my answer, how many more do I need? I'm going to say 140 minus 26. Okay, when I do that, I know I'm going to have to borrow over here, make this a 3, make this a 10. 10 minus 6 is 4, 3 minus 2 is 1, and then I bring down my 1. So 114 is what we have left to fill that box completely. So 114 is your final answer on that. All right, this one's just asking for what is the difference. And we know that the difference means subtract, right? So we're going to have to find the volumes of these two and figure out what the difference by subtracting is between them. So first thing I'm going to do is find the volume of figure one. So I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, and then that it goes back two. So this figure is going to be 12 times 2, so it is 24. All right, on the next one, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and it goes back 3. So this one is 18 times 3. Now, if you can't do that in your head, we know we can go off to the side, do some scratch work. 3 times 8 is 24. 
3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. So that is 54. And remember, what we said was we got to find the difference. So we're going to say 54 minus 24, and that's going to leave us with 30. So our difference between the two is 30 cubic centimeters. All right, that's the last one for counting cubes. I hope I've given you a variety to understand how these questions could be asked and um, how to kind of manipulate what you're given. So that's it for this video. The next video, again, will be linked times with times height, then the last one on composite figures, and then you will have a Master Connect assignment on all three videos. There'll be a, It's 15 questions, five from each video.